All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 7. I am Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Also, if you like what you see, leave a like on the video down below and a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And sharing us on social media is always a huge help. So what are we doing now? So the next challenge is to take this little mini that we won a couple episodes back and to tune it up to a PP of 360. Right now it's sitting at 251.1. So we'll have to drop a few bucks into it, which not a big deal. Obviously we have the money. Like I said, I'm gonna keep 1.5 million in my bank at least, but that still gives us over 200,000 to spend on this thing. And we're not gonna to need to spend that much money, that's for sure. So we may as well jump up into the sports section here and can we do that without the first one I wonder um, so let's look and see what we've got in here boring it up this will increase the displacement offering superior cost performance so it will, it will jack us up a little bit on our uh, horsepower which is great I mean, look at the horsepower on this car. 64 horses. That's nothing. That hurts. Uh, this will get us up to 71. The piston 69. Increase compression for more power and response. Let's do that. Let's do the camshaft. Let's also get a sports suspension in here. And, I mean, we're getting up to the 360 range. Um, I do like the idea of better brakes. And the sports clutch and flywheel. This will decrease weight. Oh, okay, yeah. Make shifting a little better. Um, this is going to be for low to mid-speed racetracks. Oh, we can't do it. Okay. So let's go back to our sports setup here and let's throw a few more um, horses onto this car. See how close we can get it to 100. Got the computer, the air filter, the muffler will get us up to 82. Not much of an increase. Two ninety-five. We've already got a better suspension. So bring us up to three oh four. Uh we'll do some sports soft tires. Wow, that'll jump us up huge. Oh, we're doing it. And let's do, oops, let's do our level two uh, weight. Which will put us just a little higher. All right, so. We got us a nice little Mini Cooper now. Um, no, it's not that tricky. Going to make me race it now? Acquire all three cars, Mini Cooper S 2005, Nabarth 500 2009, and Apollo GTI 2014. All right, well, let's let's work on some of these hot hatches. This should be fun. So it looks like we're going back to Europe. And this is the first new car I've driven since the, uh, other than the licensing, 
uh, than my Toyota uh, Aqua, my Aqua S, so this ought to be fun. Three laps, no limit on the PP. We're using a classic car here, and this is where we'll win a Mini Cooper. Oh, you've come from Spain to lose. Good luck to you, Lopez. All right, I don't know if this car is competitive or not. Uh, it's pretty good. Oh. All right. Has this Cooper? You know what? For a little junker. I mean, not a, I shouldn't call it a junker. It's a nice little car, but. Definitely not. Enough of a car to compete at this level. So. We're going to have to back out and maybe do a little more tuning on this thing. So. Let's see. What else we can do for it? Whoops.
so we didn't want to go there. This is where we wanted to go. So, I got all that. Um, let's try the close ratio transmission and see if that does anything for us. There's really no way to up our horsepower anymore, I don't think. Yeah, none of this stuff's going to do that. Let's try it with the new transmission and see if that makes any difference. Maybe we'll get a little more pickup, enough to uh, kick a little more butt. Let's see what we can do. Trying for this 05 Cooper again. Hello, Lopez. Yeah, she got the best of me this time, but we'll see now. Target, stay on target, get in there, get in there, get in there, all right. Yeah, I don't see any hope of uh, taking second, let alone first right now. Where we get at, we are running the risk.
So just a little bit more money put into the car. I almost got that transmission last time. I was like, eh, maybe I don't need it, you know. But yeah, I needed it. I got a clean race bonus that time, even though well, it was a lot cleaner than the last time, that's for sure. So there we go, a nice little 2005 Mini Cooper S in a cool mustard looking color. And we're almost up another level in the collector's level, which is nice. I think maybe, I don't know if that'll uh, allow us better parts or not, but we'll see. We'll see after we win the next car, if we win the next car. All right, so Asache, France. This is France. Again, no limit on the PP, so just PP is 400. I'm slightly over it. This will give us a chance to win another car, and ooh, wow. Baptiste Bouvoir, nice to meet you. The Alsace reason is in France, but also close to Germany and Italy. The yellow flowers around this track are really beautiful, aren't they? Okay, sorry. Alright, I'm going to have a baguette, and we're going to go. This car is so funky. I'm wondering if I should take that. If I can't do well in this race, I'll have to... Uh, I'm not even too shabby so far. I was going to say, I'll have to make it that new Cooper S, that 2005, I'm sure it has a higher horsepower. win these three cars and um, get through this this uh, menu and then we'll move forward. So we're holding a nice little fourth place here. Uh, these guys got a little power on them, I'll tell you that. That's not a joke.
car again, the Abarth or whatever it is, and thank you everybody. Thank you very much. Definitely not a clean race. Next up, we're going to go for that Polo GTI, but first, collector level 5. Oh, good. We can tune the car a little further now. Nighttime racing is fun. Definitely uh, has a different feel to it than the daytime stuff. Let's do this third race and see if we can't place third or higher again. It looks like the same group of cars pretty much. Um, this is the Sardegna racetrack. Sardinia? Sardegna? It's Lopez again. Yeah, I have my B license, you wise ass. something there. <laughs> Fair, I am starting off with the things for jokes.
so a little dirty racing. A well-timed bump on a corner. We took first place. And there's our Polo GTI. Well, that's awesome. So now we have scapes. Look at that. That's awesome. And GT Auto. I don't know what that is. But we're about to find out. All right, let's get our little lesson here. your car at GT Auto. Oh, okay, I guess that's where we can do the uh, oil changes and car washes. Ooh, maybe we can paint the car there too and put wide bodies on it. That's kind of neat. All you have to do is wash your car at GT Auto. Well. <clears throat> Escapes is now open. That's cool. So Escapes is going to allow us to um, take some great pictures and whatnot. And I'm going to try to use those pictures um, maybe starting in the next uh video for thumbnails. I'll see if I can figure out how to get that to work. I'm still kind of new to this whole YouTube thing and all that. I'm getting my feet wet and learning, but I appreciate you coming along for the journey. Um, it's been just a great time, you know, I'm gonna, and I, I love every single one of you for, uh, for supporting me in this and, and helping me reach my first milestone of 25 uh, subscribers. Now we're looking to get up to 50. That's the next goal. We're going to take baby steps here one at a time. And everything is very much appreciated. So once again, I'm Captain Beefy, and this has been an episode of Gran Turismo 7 here in the Game Fault. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. If you like what you see, leave a comment down below and a like on the video. Oh, yeah, don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. I'm going to try to get these videos out on a roughly a every six-hour um, time frame for a while and I'll probably bump it back to 12 hours like I'm doing with Horizon uh, Forbidden Dawn or Forbidden West right now. So that's that's the goal at least, you know. I make these in bulk and then schedule them ahead of time so it's not that hard to do. All right, and if you share us on social media, that's greatly appreciated. In the words of the immortal Ricky Bobby, if you ain't first, you're last. And unfortunately, I was last in a couple of those races, but that last one, I nailed it. I was first because I like to go fast. I'll see you next time.